50,000 soldiers from every fantasy army are currently standing guard at the bridges of this island fortress defense. And they are going to be fighting 6 million zombies in a gigantic modded zombie army. The defenders include Fallout Power Armor Soldiers, House Lannister Halbirdsmen from Game of Thrones, backed up by UNSC Marines from Halo. Behind them, we have Space Marines from Warhammer 40k. Guarding their bridge is going to be villagers from Minecraft. B1 battle droids from Star Wars, as well as Zealots from Starcraft. There are so many more fantasy army units across the battlefield, including Deadpool, Among Us, Spacemen. We have Spartans from the movie 300 and also just from real life Battle of Thermopylae. We have Knights of Rohan. We have Lego soldiers, Pikachus, and more defending. Do you guys think they can win against the zombie apocalypse or will the world be destroyed? If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. Now let's get into this thing. What's up gamers, I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton so thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to instant gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel Alrighty then gamers let's go ahead and press start and the zombies begin charging forward over on this side fighting the among us orange spacemen who are immediately getting ripped to shreds by zombies we have the fast zombies over here these are zombies that have three times speed to their normal stats so they can sprint into enemy lines exceptionally quickly and are exceptionally deadly due to that and you can see they are ripping these orange among us soldiers to death i would say this is probably one of the weaker units in the fantasy army lineup but at the very least we have some among us representation because it's always so funny seeing these guys included on the battlefield behind them is Deadpool which is one of the stronger units uh, in the fantasy armies so hopefully he can make up for the lackluster oranges over that way next to them we have Spartans from the movie 300 and yes I'm aware Spartans are a real-life unit but I just wanted to include them in this battle and we do have 300 which is a fictional depiction of the Battle of Thermopylae so you know there's that as well uh, so these guys are holding this bridge over here against a number of toxic suit zombies these hazmat suit boys have let's see 1800 health so they're actually fairly powerful zombies i will say but their attack damage is not super powerful so eh, they're they're all right they're not the worst over here we've got our black falcon knights for lego and they are mixed in with pikachus who are actually extremely powerful they shoot lightning of course because they're pikachu and they also have 10,000 health so yeah they're pretty deadly over here we've got the knights of rohan from lord of the rings normally we go with gondor because gondorian knights have the dopest armor in my opinion but i decided we needed to switch it up to some of the horse riders today and these guys are pretty powerful they've got 500 health apiece so they can do some serious damage they're going up against some of the spearmen wielding zombies right now who are quite devastating they also have about 500 health so it's a fairly even match and they're backed up by the fallout power armor from the brotherhood of steel who are spamming fire out <laughs> across the river right now in a devastating manner i think these guys will pack a mean punch we haven't used the fallout power armor too much in these videos i think this is the armor from fallout 3 i want to say I, I don't know exactly but um i believe they're pretty decent not as good as like space marines or clone troopers but still a very solid range unit speaking of range units this is one of the worst range units in all of ultimate epic battle simulator 2 the green army men they have what like 
10 health. No, they have 100 health, which is still really low. And I'm pretty sure they do like 15 damage a shot. So they are extremely weak. Uh, but they're not in charge of holding any bridges or anything like that. They're purely just off to the sidelines here, spraying fire out this way, hoping to do a little bit of damage to these spearmen, maybe get a few kills here and there. As you can see, they're really not getting that many kills as they fire out because they're such a weak unit. Over here, we've got... Oh! little lag spike uh beyond the little lag spike we've also got house lannister wait where are we okay we're over here now um house lannister from game of thrones these are actually really good units the game of thrones units uh are exceptionally good on the battlefield here i love using house lannister because they have the coolest game of thrones armor in my opinion i i think uh you know like the winterfell armor how stark it looks cool but not nearly as cool as these guys i think knights of the veil did get added to the game recently ish by recently i mean a couple months ago uh so we could try those out too because that that would actually be pretty sick um i think there are like the unsullied and stuff like that as well but i find myself often going back to house targaryen and house stark because they're kind of the most known so yeah, that's, that's pretty much why. But these guys are powerful, especially with their halberds. They have really good reach and really good damage, so they should be able to hold out for quite a while. Plus, they're backed up by the UNSC Marines back here, which are a very solid all-around unit. They've got their battle rifles in hand, spamming some fire. They're doing a nice job right there. Behind them is the Ultramarines, probably the most powerful unit on the battlefield, I would say. Uh, they, of course, have really good rates of fire, explosive damage that they're doing unto the zombies over this way, and the villagers are shockingly an extremely good unit. For, for being from Minecraft and being a passive unit in Minecraft as a whole, these guys can kill some serious zombies. Uh, they've got 500 health a piece, but they do a lot of damage. And also, 500 health is pretty good in this game, to be completely honest, especially when they're fighting zombies that have 200 health. So, they should be able to get a lot of kills, and that clearly is happening right here, especially with the Ultramarine Fire helping them out. Over this way, we should also, yes, have some deformed zombies coming in as well. These guys are 350 health zombies, so they're better than your standard runner zombies, but they aren't like crazy better they're not like the spearmen or the toxic zombies but they are a very solid unit uh so that's what that bridge is doing and they are being backed up by the b1 battle droids over here normally we go with clone troopers but i wanted to switch things up and use some b1 battle droids uh we also sometimes do stormtroopers we almost never do rebels i should probably do rebels one time but uh the b1 battle droids are always fun as well and then we have these starcraft zealots over here which are a very powerful melee unit they have like 5,000 health, uh, and so they'll kind of be a last stand defense unit if it comes down to that. Okay, the Orange Among Us boys are all dead at this point. The first fantasy army to go down, that's no big surprise, but you can see Deadpool over here with his katanas going absolutely ham on these zombies, ripping them to shreds. He is pretty spazzy in his movements. <laughs> Very Deadpool-esque. So, Ryan Reynolds over here tearing it up. I actually really like Deadpool and Wolverine. I, I know a lot of people really liked it, and then there were people who, like, complain about everything and were like, no, it wasn't that good. But I, I enjoyed it thoroughly, so there's a lesson in that. Enjoy things if you enjoy them, and don't worry about what other people say. It took me a long time to learn that, you know? that <laughs> Like, when I enjoyed The Force Awakens, which I'll admit has some problems to it. Oh, the Knights of Rohan are also dead over here, so now these zombies are full charging against the power armor units over this way. But when, I, when The Force Awakens first came out, I enjoyed it thoroughly. And then people like nitpicked it and I was like, no, it sucks. Yeah, these guys are right. But then I rewatched it and I was like, oh wait, I just genuinely enjoy this movie. I don't care if it's basically a remake of A New Hope. Like, you know, it, it takes some time to learn those lessons. But if you enjoy something, don't let other people yuck your yum, as my uh, stepmom would say. All right, over here. House Lannister still going strong. Again, those guys are very powerful, so I bet they'll be in this thing for a while. The Minecraft villagers actually almost dead. All of a sudden, we look away for a few moments, and they're getting ripped to shreds. Where's the iron golems when you need them? Oh, my goodness. Absolute brutality over here. By the way, I know that there is a mod, I think it's currently in beta testing, so I don't have access to it or anything like that, but there is a mod coming out that allows you to have more units on the battlefield, not like 
having 50 million units or anything like that, that's still not possible. Uh, that would just destroy any game. But, like, instead of, I think you're limited to, like, 20 units in total on the battlefield, or, like, 15, something along those lines, you can then have, like, 30. So we could have even more fantasy armies on the battlefield once that mod releases, which I am super excited about, because we could have so many fantasy armies out here fighting against so many different zombie variants. That, that would be pretty sick. Either way, we're seeing the downfall of the villagers. There's one dude left, and some of these zombies are just ignoring him, but he does go down and die. So now the zombies are full charging against the Ultramarines over here. Hopefully the Ultramarines can hold the bridge for a while. Not too long ago, we did do uh, one Ultramarine versus 10 million zombie bridge offensive, and uh, we learned that it takes about a 1,000 Ultramarines to end up holding a bridge alone, but 100 Ultramarines did manage to get a lot of kills. So, I think they will do pretty decently here defending, uh, you know, and they're pretty scattered, so the zombies have to go at them one by one, they can't hit multiple at a time or anything along those lines, so I think these guys will hold for a decent while, plus they do have B1s over here uh, spamming some fire for them, so that's like a little bit of support. Although I will admit, uh, this bridge is now in some serious danger. Oh, we also actually have some of the Halo units firing this way too. So that, that actually, this could bode well for them. They, they could definitely get a lot of kills and hold that bridge for a while. And the Halo units are still supporting House Lannister over this way too. So, you know, it's not a complete loss. Let's go check over here. How are the Power Armor boys doing the Brotherhood of Steel? They're holding perfectly fine. Very nice. How are the Spartans? Ooh, Spartans have almost lost their bridge over here. They still have a number of troopers sort of like around the bridge. Oh, how did zombies get over here? That's weird. Uh, yeah, they do still have a number of soldiers around the bridge, so it won't be totally over yet. Deadpool's doing fine over here. All the different Deadpools <laughs> from the multiverse. <laughs> uh, I'm not... Oh, I accidentally placed a marker. That doesn't do anything. Let's just shove it all the way over here. There we go. Oh. I just glitched the game? No, we're good. All right, excellent. Uh, so once these toxic zombies finish off the Spartans, they'll have to defeat the guys on the sides, which they're doing right now. And then they'll go for either the Black Falcon Knights over there or the Deadpool over there. So I'm not too worried about this side. Uh, what I would be worried about is if they were able to fully flank the power armor units over here immediately after, but that's probably not going to happen. All right, let's go ahead and watch the uh, Ultramarines defending this bridge in our first time lapse of the video here. Again, guys, I really appreciate y'all watching. If you guys want, hit that like button, subscribe. We're trying to hit 700k subscribers at some point here, uh, and comment down below. I appreciate all the support. Let's get it. Alright guys, well the Space Marine Bridge seems to, oh, lag, seems to be holding just fine right now. Uh, the, oh, one Space Marine actually just went down. Rip Ultramarine. Rip! How's House Lannister doing over here? We do have 4.67 million remaining zombies, so... Uh, just over 1 million have died at this point, so 4.6 million remaining, uh, they'll, uh, they'll definitely be crossing this bridge at the very least, I don't know if they'll be able to get to the UNSC, but we'll find out, um, the real problem will be the flanks over here. The Brotherhood seems to be doing well, Brotherhood of Steel. Um, the Spartans over here, it looks like they are just now dying, and this is where the flanks will begin. Deadpool over here will be getting flanked by those units, and there they come. So, uh, Deadpool needs to actually react to these zombies. They're a little bit slow to the draw, but they are eventually reacting and starting to take some swings against these zombies, so... <laughs> At least they're they're getting there, but yeah, they're getting flanked over here by the toxic zombies. They're still holding the front bridge here really, really nicely. They're doing a wonderful job over there, but this flank could mess them up pretty good. I wonder if any are going to go for the Lego soldiers. Not right now. They seem pretty... Oh, wait, no, we do have a couple. Lego soldiers are pretty weak on the battlefield. They're not, like, Among Us weak, but they are pretty freaking weak. Uh, <laughs> they will... Definitely put up a little bit of a fight, but not a crazy one. But they do have Pikachus. 
The Pikachus don't start until like the middle area here though, so it'll take a little while for the zombies to get to the Pikachus and the Pikachus to start helping out against the zombies. Spearmen zombies over here charging and these guys are holding them back perfectly so certain bridges are starting to collapse bit by bit while others still maintain their defense so let's watch house lannister going down over here for a bit All right, we're, we're about to see the full-on collapse of House Lannister here. Now we'll really get to understand if these zombies defeat House Lannister, are they going to be able to do a full charge into the UNSC over here and destroy them and then hit the Space Marines from the back? So if the UNSC can hold out on their own without the support of House Lannister up here deflecting a lot of the zombies, I think we'll be in good shape. If not, it could mean trouble. We are at 4.1 million zombies remaining, so almost 2 million zombies have died at this point. We are making some serious progress in this battlefield. But, as of the starting 50,000 Fantasy Army units, only 21,200 remain. But, I think most of those are going to be the strongest Fantasy Army units, because most of the weakest ones died early, like the Spartans and the Orange Among Us Soldiers. Okay, there's like five halberdsmen left alive here. You gotta give it to the Lannister men. They really pulled out all the punches here. They did a great job. Not too shabalabby. They, they, they really did quite well. There goes the last one, I think. Yep. Sometimes the zombies take a minute to like figure out where they're going next, but they've figured it out. And they are full charging the UNSC Marines over here. And they seem to be able to stop these zombies before they cross the full bridge. They might end up holding out similar to the fallout units, where they're just solidly keeping them at bay. The real question is, will the Ultramarines be able to hold? Oh! Things have gotten worse for the Ultramarines back here. Look at the body pile over this way for these zombies. That is absolutely insane. Especially if the UNSC Marines end up having to concentrate more on their own zombies as opposed to the Ultramarine zombies, that could be very, very problematic. Alright, B1 Battle Droids are actually firing more this way now, trying to help out the Deadpool units. Deadpool units, uh, looks like they have taken a few losses, but they're pretty powerful. I mean, they are superheroes. <laughs> they should be basically invulnerable, but, you know, we're not going completely lore accurate here. Oh my goodness! Alright, these zombies have made it through a lot of Lego soldiers, and uh, now the Pikachu are getting involved here. And they're destroying them pretty nicely. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't really see any dead Pikachus on the battlefield, so I think they are the hard stop point there, which is good. Over here, the Fallout uh, units are defending quite nicely still, so that's at least going for them. And we've still got the green army men over here, who the only ones they've lost are the ones that drowned under the water because they had a bad spawn. <laughs> so... That's okay. It seems like the UNSC Marines over here are doing quite well. So, let's watch overhead these two bridges because this is definitely one of the major points that could collapse pretty soon here. We've got 3.93 million remaining zombies and 19,680 remaining Fantasy Army Defenders. This battle's heating up. Okay, after about 10 minutes here, it seems like the Ultramarines are still holding. I still think they will go down during this battle. They're not going to live to the end. But the UNSC Marines are doing fantastic. Who knows how the Ultramarines' death will affect them if the zombies will full charge straight into their backs. Actually, a few are already making it just over here, although not really doing a ton of damage. But that could show what is to come for these guys. Uh, Fallout 
power armor troopers still doing fantastic and deadpools ooh, deadpools are very close to being dead uh <laughs> more pikachu are getting attacked now by the zombies over here but they're managing to uh, keep them at bay and also probably the buffer of some of the lego units is also helping them out a little bit so these guys aren't going to go down right away but they might fairly soon We've still got the B1 Battle Droids firing out, and the Zealots have done absolutely nothing this battle. The only unit to not do anything, but they're going to be a very good last stand unit if it comes to that. Let's watch the Deadpools, because there's not, there's maybe like a hundred of them left alive over here. They've done a really nice job of slowing down these zombies and preventing them from doing massive flanks or anything like that, but I think their job will be done fairly soon as they die. Uh, 3.5 million zombies remain, 19,200 defenders. And there we go. Deadpools end up breaking, and we have a huge rush over here straight into the B1 battle droid lines. They seem to be full firing into these guys, stopping a lot of them, except for the runner zombies, who are managing to make it to the droids very, very quickly. There are some troopers up top on these buildings, getting some nice arching overwatch fire downwards at them, so that's helpful for sure. The zealots right now aren't really doing anything. I kind of put the zealots over here because I thought the enemy units would be coming from over here more so, but it looks like this line broke first, so they're coming from over that way. Uh, the Pikachus are still getting crazy kills. They're building a nice little body pile in the city here. Uh, the Fallout Power Armor is still holding. Green Army Men still chilling. UNSC Marines still doing fine. Ultramarines probably going to die fairly soon, but they're still up and alive, so at least there's that, I suppose. A couple of UNSC Marines actually in this corner over here have gone down. There are 3.2 million zombies remaining, 19,000 defenders remaining, and I'm worried about the B1s for sure. Looks like a couple of them have died already. They have 1,000 health. They do pretty good damage, I think like 150 damage from what I just saw. Let's see. Yeah, 150 damage per shot, which is... Pretty powerful, enough to kill some zombies pretty quickly, but there's a lot of zombies swarming up, so they could be in some serious trouble here. Let's watch it happen. Okay, well, the threat of these zombies has dwindled considerably after all the troops that were sort of assembled here at once charged and died. Now they are trickling in because half of them are going towards the Pikachu over this way while the other half are going towards the B1. So it's a, actually a pretty good case scenario for the fantasy armies over that way. We've got the fallout units still holding tight. UNSC Marines over here are starting to lose more soldiers to these zombies, so it's only a matter of time before they weaken enough that these zombies over here also start to breach as well. But that being said, they are halfway through the zombie armies right now with 2.95 million remaining zombies on this here battlefield and on top of that they still have 18,600 troopers so they're doing quite well I mean a lot can happen but uh, let's watch the UNSC Marines here Okay, well the Halo units have been beaten back quite a bit over here as you can see. The bridge is still holding, although now they are facing a lot of these zombies coming straight at them. Let's check in on the other units. So over here, B1 Battle Droids, they are continuing to take losses, but they built quite a nice little body pile here, so they're obviously still holding a decent amount against these zombies. As for the Lego and Pikachu units, they're still holding at the same place as before, which is great. So these Pikachu are clearly doing their job quite nicely uh, and protecting pretty much the Lego units. So, I'm, you know, the Lego units have gotten a few kills, 
but not nearly as many as the Pikachu. <laughs> One side is definitely doing better than the other. Oh, units are flanking over here somehow. Are they crossing underwater? What? That's insane. A number have died while trying to do so, but some have made it over and are flanking the Brotherhood of Steel over here. That's actually insane, although they are still completely dominating the zombies over this way. So there's definitely some good and some bad on this battlefield right now. Uh, I, I still want to see the Halo units because I think if they fall, it is going to be catastrophe. 2.5 million remaining zombies. Uh, 16,357 remaining fantasy army units. We are witnessing the downfall of the Halo UNSC Marines here. They are few in number now, getting wrapped up and killed. They did, I mean, hugely impact the battlefield. Look at these body piles. They went pretty crazy. So now all these zombies are going to start charging B1s and the Zealots over here. The Zealots finally, finally, getting involved on this higher battlefield. They really haven't done much up until now, but now they are cruising. The B1s over here are starting to take increased losses. They're getting quite bloodied. They're not doing fantastic. Luckily, they have the Zealots over here ready to defend their honor against the oncoming zombies in the flank, so they don't have to worry too much about that. Um, the Pikachu still going quite nicely over here, just eviscerating those guys, uh, and the Brotherhood of Steel still going quite strong over here as well. So... There's still hope on the battlefield for the Fantasy Army units to win, although their numbers are definitely dwindling quite a bit. 11,930 remaining Fantasy Army units, 2.3 million zombies remain. Let's watch some of the Pikachu for a little while, because we really haven't observed them quite as much as the others. So the Pikachu here seem to be doing pretty well. There's 2.2 million zombies remaining, but somewhere people are dying because there's only 7,100 fantasy units remaining. And I believe it's the B1s. Yeah, the B1s are in a really bad spot here. Their little city village thing is getting wrecked. They've gotten a ton of kills. So they've done a good job. And the Zealots here are also doing a nice job. You can see the body piles building over here with them. But overall, it's been a bit of a disaster. Uh, the Fallout units over here are still doing quite nicely, which is beautiful. I'm actually working on a Fallout video for my Daily Studs channel. Uh, I think it'll actually come out today, which I'm pretty excited about. So it's fun to see both channels having a little bit of Fallout material on them. But as you can see, they're, they're killing crazy numbers of zombies. They're doing a great job. But if these sections over here end up falling completely, they'll be in huge trouble. Obviously, there's still a lot of Pikachu left alive, which is great because they're very powerful, as shown. Um, but it's looking bad, especially with the Zealots over here starting to get attacked and the B1s kind of faltering. This could be the extinction zone that we're entering. Let's watch the Zealots fight. Uh, things are not looking too good for the fantasy armies. The zealots here can only do so much. I mean, they are surviving decently, but yeah. Uh, the Pikachu over here are holding out slightly, but again, they can only do so much. The Fallout units still cooking, but they're getting flanked now from multiple different sides. So there's only 4,500 remaining defenders and they're literally at 2,100,000, no, yeah, no, 
2,001,000 remaining zombies. So, like, it, it is coming down to it, man. I don't know if 4,500 troopers can get 2 million zombie kills. I don't know if they're up to snuff unless the power armor units just end up, like, dominating or the zealots... If the zealots are good for, like, I don't know, a million kills, maybe? I don't or the Pikachu end up being OP? I don't know. It's looking tough, but we'll continue and persevere, and hopefully they can pull out a miracle here. Okay, we're down to 2,000 remaining defenders. The Zealots here, I think, only have 100 or so. Uh, I'm seeing shots coming. Yeah, there's a few B1s from the rooftops here and there. Probably getting a kill or two, but nothing too extreme. Those Zealots are going to go down. And then the Pikachu over here are likely to have a whole lot more inbound. And the Fallout Brotherhood of Steel will also be swarmed pretty quickly. There's 2,019 defenders left and 1.83 million zombies left. Let's watch the Brotherhood defense now for a little while here as the Zealots are going to die out really soon. This is looking risky. All right, boys, I'm surprised, but the attacks from behind the Fallout units aren't really coming anymore. I think it's because the Pikachu right now are taking the brunt of them. The Zealots are dead, and no one's over here, actually. That's why as well. All of the remaining zombies are over here, over here, or a little bit over here. So that's actually really good news for the Fantasy Army units. Uh, one point... Is that a six? Yeah, I think 1.6 million zombies remaining. So the Pikachu here are holding the back lines while the Fallout units are holding over here. This could actually work. They could actually win. I was not expecting that. I thought it was Jover for him, but there is uh, renewed hope, I would say. Let's watch the Lego and the Pikachu over here defend. All right, boys, they're still holding, and I don't think there's much of a threat. I mean, this seems like a lockdown situation where they could get the W. Uh, there are, again, still 1.6 million remaining zombies even after all this time, so it's a, it's a slow roll. I'll just let it play for like an hour or two here to see where we end up, but I'm thinking we're going to have a W. Let's find out. All right, guys. 
It's been about an hour and a half. I just had a cookie. It was delicious. Chocolate chip. Highly recommend. <laughs> um, you can see the body pile with the Pikachus is insane. And they're lasting, man. There's only a few down here left. Many did die, especially like up here. But, that being said, there's only 350,000 zombies remaining. The Brotherhood of Steel is still holding over here. They did take some losses, nothing too crazy. I think what happened was um, some clearly like crossed over this way, so I'm guessing maybe some ended up going, my dog's barking, across this bridge and flanking. And sometimes if people haven't attacked for a while in one direction, it'll kind of take people by surprise. So I think that might've happened. Either way, we'll let it play out. I think this is going to be a fantasy army victory though. All right, boys, it's been another two hours and uh, these guys are still holding fine. <sighs> There's only 244,000 zombies remaining. So only 100,000 have died since then. Whoa, look at this. The water like went over here. Has it always been like this or did, did these guys cause this? Like a bunch died in here when they were running across that way? Oh, and maybe the body piles cause like water displacement? Cause that is a thing in the game. I don't know. It's actually crazy. Uh, either way, most of the remaining zombies are just kinda huddled up over here, trickling in slowly. I think we're gonna call this as an all fantasy army W because they're really not losing anyone. So, skadoosh. Let's go. Huge W. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if I missed any fantasy armies you guys would like to see in the next iteration of all fantasy armies in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. Either way, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.